Under the environmental assessment regulations, I have three options. I could approve the effluent treatment plant with or without conditions. I could reject it, or I could require that the proponent file an environmental assessment report. While there has been some good work done here, I have concluded that I need more science-based evidence, more information before me to properly assess the potential risk to air, water, fish, and human health. As a result, I have decided that the Northern Pulp must file an environmental assessment report if they want to continue with this project. This is a process that, from the beginning, we, we've been saying the process was one that we were concerned about, and those concerns are, are coming true. That really five years into into this whole thing, that the, the um, Department of Environment is still looking for more information. So, it's just it's more stress, it's more anxiety. Um, it's it's a it's a very very significant decision. I can certainly sympathize with the pressure that the that the premier is under. Uh, but but uh, just continuing the, the uncertainty, is, it's, it's really not fair to Nova Scotians. It's a further delay in the timeline, I guess, um, causing a little bit more anxiety uh, for folks, uh, especially within our sector, as we uh, look to see what the, the process is going to mean uh, to everybody. Certainly, I and a lot of stakeholders across the province would have liked to have seen uh, this uh, project be rejected. Um, but if I were in the minister's shoes, I probably would have done exactly what the minister did do, which was to follow the terms of his responsibilities without prejudice.